Hi, uh, Doug and Scott. <coughs> Jeff Allen here. I was I was reading the, the the post here about the imposter syndrome and LinkedIn that Doug did, and I want to address this because I've been thinking about something in parallel, and I've been addressing a lot of my videos up on my YouTube channel. Uh, I call this the 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 invisibility rut of the language industry or the language field. <coughs> So I've got a lot, number of videos up there. I talk about this this getting out of the the language visibility rut or avoiding being in the language industry visibility rut. <clears throat> and so this imposter syndrome kind of reflects that. I want to mention this, and then what I'll do is I'll put this in a playlist so you can see the other vis the other videos that are that are core con correspond to this thing <clears throat> about the language language industry visibility rut. Um, but I'll kind of summarize this in general in saying that I, would, I think I've been in this field, I've been in the language teaching, I was started in the language teaching field um, early on in academia, but not just in business as well. And then I got into this technical writing business kind of by accident because uh, I was a language teacher and I got into teaching technical writing at Caterpillar. And, and then I got into all the language and language and translation kind of tools and all this kind of stuff and services. But what I've seen over the past, I'd say 35 plus years of being in this field, is that the people that are the best at doing this thing and promoting it are the people that are not from this field. Okay, and and the people that are, I want to say the worst, but just are not good at promoting it are the people that have grown up in this field because the hardest thing is to promote it and and the reality of things is that language and translation whether it be content creation in an origi uh, original language or water and translating it is is just an unknown thing it's an un an, 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 an not a valuable topic and that's what I talk about in the language visibility right video. So watch that. It's version two I talk about a little more. I don't want to go into the details of that there because you can watch that video. But but the, the, the important thing, I'm, I'm in a restaurant here, so you might have a little background noise. People are gathering the dishes. But <clears throat> I'll talk a little louder. But the um, kind of the key thing here is that uh, I, I, I also sometimes wonder if this field is cursed, okay? Uh, uh, because I found that uh, I've been a lot more successful in other fields. Like when I worked in telecom, we didn't have this issue. We didn't have the issue of trying to figure out what we want to do, become visible, get funding, get resources, get assets, get anything. We didn't have this problem in telecom. We didn't have this thing really in mechanical engineering either. <coughs> just didn't have it. You just you just ask for it and, and get it. When I was a caterpillar. I wasn't working with a lot of uh, the the technical writers and the and the and the translators. One of the ones I was dealing with. I'm just training them. But people you're asking for the funding from is the people that are not actually um, from the field. They're the people that are just from other fields. So you got to get the funding from them. So you got to get really good at getting this funding, right? Funding or resources, anything. What do you want? The money, whatever you want to call this. But. Every time I come back to the field, this field, and I work with people that are in the field, it's just like uh, they're sometimes the, the the people that have the hardest time getting funding, getting anything, because they, they're kind of invisible. Uh, they're not really good at being very um, diligent, being very visible, being very prominent to get the funding they need to get the things done. And in the other fields, this is how you survive. Uh, so I've learned a lot from this, all those other fields and have continued to brought this back in, but it, I found that being kind of flipping back and forth, coming to the field, give it in the language industry and not, um, I just found that it's been harder to work in the, this industry uh, with people that have always been in the industry because they're, they're just not good at getting the funding and the getting the resources and getting the things we need uh, to get things done. And it means we don't get we don't get we don't develop things. Um, and, and I work on apps, right? So, so this is really clear. I mean, I need I need coders. I need software developer coders. You know, not not just people who can document. I need people who can do it. Can actually do the coding, right? <coughs> and and uh, sometimes I end up doing it myself. 
but the, the but the the real hard thing is I, is because and watch that video about the language of visibility right because I talk about why language is invisible and why it's hard to show the value of it and that that video is more clear on it I mean it's really clear with a bunch of examples but in the end you've got to get the funding and uh, and the folks that get it are the ones that are not from it that's sort of kind of the reality of things. So that's where I really enjoy uh, working with a lot of people from other fields because it really uh, has. And, and I worked with a few companies that the companies where you're you're, you're great in sales are, you know, the, the sales it's all about sales. Uh, the what everybody call it sales marketing comp. It's sales and uh, and getting getting what you need to be able to get the work done. And so. This imposter thing kind of fits along. I mean, Scott, as you're saying that you've worked, you know, you've, you've worked with 600, you know, in your 600 people, and a lot of people say that they, they know stuff, but they don't really feel that they can share it and stuff, and, and that's sad because if you're not able to be very um, forceful, I, I don't want to say the, about what you do, what you know, then you just start throwing by this off the off the side of the road, right? And this is reality. And again, you don't get funding to do what you need to do. I've given a lot of trainings courses to to information developers and uh, even architects of this. And sometimes it feels like I, I'm, sometimes I'll give them the training session, and for the first 15 minutes, you know, I'll say, you know, are you ready to take this trip? Are you on this trip, this interstellar voyage? And I'll try out trip, or I'll, I'm take, taking them off, off the planet, right? And they're all just they're completely disorientated. And 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 I said this is where you can't go, and it usually just shocks them. Uh, and it's inspiring for them to be able to go way beyond anything they've ever done before. But then they all say, "Well, I can't do it." I said, "Yes, you can. You just need to learn how to do it. You got to learn how to do it." And there are a few of us in this field that are really, you know, really. Selling it, I mean, Scott, you're one of them, right? So, and I, and I tend to be one of their others. We're just, we are driving force, right? Uh, and and then there's the rest of the folks that are, are scared of that, right? They're scared of it, and uh, and, I, and it's really interesting to see it. It's really interesting seeing it. But I think what this this injury needs, and I I talked about this in a few of my other videos too, and I'll put this in the playlist of how to sell better, how this industry can sell better. I'm seeing language industry in general. The translation uh, side of things is, has just as many issues with this, right? Sorry, because the dishes, but the people are doing the dishes off the corner there. I'm kind of just an afternoon after lunch here. Um, but the, the key thing is to be able to promote the ideas, pitch the ideas, get them. Get the, get the things going so you can actually get the money, get the funding, get the resources, get the people, get the time to be able to do it. And if you don't, if you feel like you're an imposter in that, then you need to, you know, work on the skill set to be able to do it more. And that's hard to say, but I'm saying it because in the end, if you're not visible, you don't get it. Okay, you just don't get it. And this is a recurring thing. This is a, a recurring thing. So if you don't have the skills, you know, get the, find the people that can't have those skills. Find them and get those people to sell for you. Get those people to pitch for you. Get them to do it for you so you can get what you need to get the work done. And so I'm being repetitive about this, but it's really key. Uh, and, and I am constantly putting you know, myself in places where I pitch it. And if people are not getting it, the things they don't not, can't get the, the funding and stuff, I say let me pitch it because I will get the funding, right? I will get what we need to be able to do what we need to to build the apps, to do the do our drift systems, all that kind of stuff. And uh, and I I don't I, I don't like to sit there being feel like a beggar, right? I, I don't want to be that. I want to be when I'm doing things, I want to feel like hey, we've done a great job. Here's what we've done. Here's how we can do it better. Here's how many more things we've done. Excellent, we've done it. And it's, a, it's kind of a, it's a strive for excellence, right? And that's kind of a no, no, a taboo in this field, right? Um, it's just this, this, this concept that um, we need to be 
mediocre and hidden and invisible. And you do that, you don't get this to what you need. You just don't get it. So um, something to keep in mind. I think this is important for this for this imposter. So I get the first one. She didn't understand. She's speaking English, right? So, so but um. But the, the thing here is, I think the, the, key, the key thing for getting the, um, finding people that are going to help you get where you need to get the work done, to do the, do the work, to do the, to, do the, uh, to, to fund your projects, to, and a lot of these projects, keep in mind, they're, they're word-based, so there's a huge price per word thing, which is, again, something I address in my other videos, where I say people need to change that, because it's not, it's not by word, it's by hour needs to be done by our these are package solutions. We've got to sell the solutions better. And I've done a lot of this selling big solutions. And what we need to do is find better ways to sell it more. And and we need more salespeople. I say we, we say that we need to have a lot more salespeople that are just good at doing this. Um, and there are, it's great to see that there are some um, kind of there are a number of people out there uh, talking about this, uh, NIMS D Insights doing a lot about this, uh, Common Sense Advisors doing a lot about this. They're they're showing people how to pitch stuff. They're selling people to do a better selling techniques, and this is the one that's going to help us do better. Because in the end, we want to sell more pies, right? We don't want one piece of the big pie. We want to sell more pies, and that's the key. Okay. So when we sell more pies, then we all get what we need to to do more and to have headcount and people to be able to do the work. But usually in this interview, you get you know you got one we got one information developer, we got two, three, four.